So here's something that I want to look at, and it's that in Power BI, you can't define the width of the columns in the matrices. It's very annoying. Um, and a couple of days ago, I tweeted about it, and um, Michael Mays, he got back to me and said, I had this workaround, I tweeted about it. Um, and I looked at it, and very honestly, I wasn't really a fan of the workaround because there was still manual effort involved. And Michael um, took it like 95% of the way, so full respect and, and credit to Michael. I just I just did a tiny bit, which I um, wanted to uh, make this video for because I think it works somewhat well, though still annoying that you have to do it. So what you want is you have your matrix, and what Michael said was basically you want to use um, the DAX expression rept, and when you use this rep, you can define what value you want to see and how many times you want to see it. So I have now a measure that I've just called um, spacer. And um, so I'll just do it again, very straightforward. Rep, and you say, okay, which text do you want to see? So I'm going to go with zero, because I like the width of the zero. Whatever, use whatever you want. And I'm going to say, um, let's use it um, use it six times. Let's get a nice um, wide column that's going to fulfill what we require and that's it that, that's all we need to do so we have our measure and the only difference that between what i'm going to do and what michael suggested that you do is that um you need to use auto column width yeah so if you go to your here your format and then you um column headers make sure that the auto is on yeah and then you add the spacer measure so then, of course, it automatically adjusts all the um, the width of all the columns to the widest value. So it's important, of course, that the rep is going to be the widest value. Um, so I set it as six, um, and then yeah, switch off your auto size column width as such, and then you remove the spacer, and then it's set. It's not going to change. So if, if I wanted, of course, to have it a bit wider, I could do it again, column width on, and let's say, okay, let's make it, I don't know, like, let's make it 10. Some nice wide columns there. So now I have this very wide column. Now I'm gonna again switch off my auto width, then remove the spacer, and now I have nice wide columns. So actually, it does work really well. Um, the only thing I didn't like with the, with the way my Michael suggested it was then dragging them yourself so they all fit in. Um, but with auto size column width, it works really well. One day soon, hopefully we won't need it because there'll be an update. Who knows? But up until, um, up until that happens, I'll be using this workaround. So thank you very, very much, um, to Michael. That really helps. And now I have Beautiful, even columns. Wonderful. Thank you. Bye.